have you been going? Um, as of late, pretty good. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Commitment ceremony number one took place and Andrew was the only person who wrote leave. Although he did cross that out and rewrote stay on his card, that meant every couple was continuing with the process. Let's break things down, starting with Tamara and Brent. Brent revealed that the couple are heading in a good direction. Hugging, laughing. Playful. Playful. She's been going out of her way to do things. Made sure I was fed, made sure everything was clean, and showed me more affection. While Tamara seemed indifferent, Tamara also shared that a partner's occupation is important to her, and she didn't know if Brent is good enough for her. So a restaurant manager, you think, doesn't cut it for Tamara. No. Nope. 2,000 years later. To me, an occupation, it's a lot about who you are. That's why occupation is important to me. And our next couple tonight? Olivia and Jackson. Olivia and Jackson are on track to falling in love with everything in their relationship going well. They see a future together. Keep doing whatever you're doing, you guys, because we can see that it's working. Selena opened up to the experts about Cody's lack of affection and attraction towards her. She also revealed the nationality question. Cody explained he was confronted by the question and is hopeless at communicating. The biggest problem or what I've sort of realized just thinking about all this today is I'm hopeless at communicating. Selena explains that she wants Cody to take time to get to know her and that she needs more genuine effort from him. The experts want to see a deeper connection between Ella and Mitch, and I agree. Alexandra requests that the pair should try and challenge each other to have deeper conversations. But if you're not finding ways to challenge yourselves, then you're not going to get the most of the experience and you won't learn as much about one another. Dominica and Jack open up on their different communication styles, with Dominica being straight to the point and Jack liking to think things through with that mask image living in my brain rent free jack reveals he does not have an urge to rip dominica's serial killer face mask all the time babes don't blame you two thousand years later then we had celine and anthony mel revealed that they were concerned by what they were seeing and anthony told her that celine's behavior had left him feeling like shit selena smirked after anthony recounted what went down during their honeymoon showing no remorse of her actions that's not funny it's really demeaning and that's when the experts went ham all right let's get our next couple up Samantha opened up on her concerns about Al's lack of self-awareness and Al admits that he's likely not as mature as Sam wants a partner to be and John tells Sam to stop mothering Al Give him the space to step into it and ask Al to take the lead Holly was outraged at Andrew ambushing her at a public overshare again and immediately starts serving up outraged facial expressions and baby girl, we were here for them. Holly brought up the honesty box and how Andrew used it as an opportunity to inform her she wasn't good at sex. The experts basically begged them both to leave. After everything you guys have said tonight, I do not understand this decision at they all. They both refused. And folks, that was it for Sunday's recap. Stay tuned for Monday's recap, which will be coming soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.